and we on live right now, so people will start coming on in a few minutes. Oh, fuck, I cut it off. What? No, no, I was talking to myself. Oh, do you want me to send it to his, or oh, you got it? I I got it. Oh, okay. I got to get back on, because I, I I got off the internet, but that's okay, we good. I'm on another computer. Oh, okay. I'm on this computer back over here that I was on at first. This one is the one I stream on the shit. Oh, I got you, I got you. Everybody, what's going on? Come on in here. Come on in here. We waiting for Tay and we going on. <clears throat> I'm going to do a formal introduction. It's kind of funny trying to introduce somebody who's known all over the world, but I'm going to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> well, you okay, but you know what? I got a call, Tay. And, and just give it to him. This, you, this nigga going to take forever. But it, Here, let me just go to his Facebook. Just call him and tell him I'm going to put it in his Facebook, man. So he could just go right to his little Facebook. And... Uh, air privacy. Hold on. Done. Tell Tay, I'm going to put it into his... Yeah, because my original... When I sent you the message, I told you to send it to him the, uh, earlier. Fuck, hold on. Let me go back and get it real quick. Come on, nigga. You guys hold tight. We're just getting everything ready, man. Hold tight. There go Tay, right there. Tay, you on, man, but we can't see your picture. Okay. Uh, Click on the it. camera. Uh, oh, right here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where is the tab? Oh, oh, right here. Okay. We can hear you good, but we can't see you. Man, what is my lights not doing on? Uh, see, you put a thing to the camera. Come on, man. Really? Not coming. Come on, man. Why ain't it coming on? <clears throat> Hold on, Dre. Right. <laughs> what is it saying, Tay? Because people in here, computer geniuses, what is it saying on your hand? <laughs> it's uh, when I click on the camera. Just it, uh, a line go. The red line goes through it. Okay, my computer folks, what's going on? Where well, he needs it? We can't visibly see him. I can hear him, but I can't visibly see him. I gotta call Clinton. You guys hold tight. It's gonna be a treat. You guys just hold tight. We wanna get make sure this shit is right. It's a disabled cameras. That says a disabled camera. Should you say that? No, it's you don't want to disable the camera. No, yeah, no, I know, no, I know the camera should just come on in. You got to get access. Uh, it's going a little tab going to say allow the uh, computer to get access to your camera. And you got to cl click. It says you're in the show. Mm -hmm. Everyone, Everyone can, can see, see and hear you. Though. They can't see me though. Is it this? Huh? No, it's not. That. Oh, oh, it's it's not. Make sure it's not. <laughs> yeah, but it, it should be blue, man. It ain't plugged in, man. Come on, man. The camera, man. Oh, the camera ain't plugged in. I mean, the camera is plugged, is plugged in, but there we go, Tay. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Hey, yeah, man. <laughs> All right, we here, everybody. Let me do a formal introduction. As I said, it's kind of difficult to introduce gentlemen that are known all over the world, but I'm going to do the best that I can. These individuals have inspired uh, myself. And uh, Tay and Rosebud have been knowing each other and been friends, real friends. You know, just their friendship will show you an example of what friends are. You know, we just had the thing with Sinful and Freeze really showed up even after his death. He just did everything he said he was going to do because we really produce real good friends in this game. And so <clears throat> it is my honor and pleasure to, to bring to you guys, like I said, for the lack of a better word, 
uh, Shantae, uh, the great Shantae and the great Mr. Rosebud. And I'm just glad that they graced us today and they're going to release their measure. So I'm going to let each of them, you know, say what they want to say for their introductions, man. And I'm going to be on the sideline and just listen to this game while all y'all listen to this game. You know, uh, Mr. Shantae, Mr. Rosebud, whatever order you want to go, just talk to the people, man. Well, Dre, you know, uh, I've been focusing on Sidewalk University. Mm -hmm. uh, years ago, um, when I first had left the game, you know, I went to school, you know, getting my degrees. But when I got ready to get my teaching credential, uh, this was like in 2000 or something like that. In 83, I had a felony. And, I, and it took 10 years to do this. So in 2010, when I went back to get this uh, straightened out, they still held it against me. Mm -hmm. Now, this is 33 years now. And I'm saying I ain't had as much as a ticket interaction with the police. So as far as rehabilitation, what does that mean? How, how can you be, uh, how are you rehabilitated if you haven't interacted with the police in 30 years. Mm -hmm. Now, what that did, because I had got charged a whole bunch of money to go to school, and, and what that did was because I wanted to be a teacher, and, and I, I started focusing on how I could use uh, my education and, and, and bring it to a, a platform where I could be a teacher. And uh, that brought me to the internet. And slowly from there, I didn't, you know, a whole bunch of changes. I didn't got my school to where I'm really doing some. SWU is, is, is more than a place for higher learning. Uh, it's a place where, you know, young dudes uh, can come and drop their pretending. Because most cats today are pretenders. They, they, they don't want to face who they really are. And that's the first thing we do in Sidewalk University. We get real right away day one you know no lies because me i'm a, i'm a bus you i don't have to know you to i can listen to what you're saying and hear how you're emphasizing words and i can tell if you're lying or not and we we go through this and one of the biggest problems that i find young men have today is identity they don't have any identity you me tay we have an identity I'm talking about before we became pimps, we thought something of ourselves. I mean, we might have been athletes or, or whatever. I, I was everything. But it, it, it never left us, that identity. We I didn't have to be like you, Drake. You know, I didn't have to be like Tay to hang with Tay. I just had to know me. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and see, the, the, the guys today want to be a movie bad boy or some sort of rapper, star, or, or whatever, and, and they use words that, that they don't know anything about, and they got the game twisted with it. You know, as far as choosing, man, this girl can't choosing up on me. Man, how is she going to choose and she ain't even home, ain't got no money, you ain't even asking for nothing. <laughs> I'm saying, come on, man, they, they just use this stuff. So uh, at Sidewalk University, what we do is get them into learning the truth about life. And as far as words and sayings and being sure of what you're talking about, I even deal with their English, their grammar. Uh, I don't, I don't deal with uh, someone that's going to talk, uh, 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 you know, no, man, I don't know. Explain it out your mouth, you know, quit being like that. Don't, don't be afraid to be you. And that's where I'm at right now, Dre. I ain't mm. trying to teach nobody about no pimp shit. But all I kick is game because that's you know I left the game. The game didn't leave me. That's right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So I'm spitting the double barrel. You know what I'm saying all the time. But you ain't got to try to be no pimp to get this, man. Mm. Game is, is is knowledge of what the fuck you doing. And you're able to do whatever it is you do within the parameters of what you're doing without tripping. And that's what we do. Mm. Whatever it is, you don't, you, the only thing you do that I did was send that bitch to get it. Mm. But all the little minor details, that's Dre. 
probably something totally I don't do. Right, probably right. something Tay don't do. But we respect each other. That's why I got this from Tate. He said a hundred men could stand on a hundred pimps could stand on the tip of a needle and have room for a hundred more. Wow. And you know why? Because just like me and you and him right here, we know it ain't no one right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it ain't no one right. It, it is right. Something is right. But shit, if right is getting to the end of the block and you go this way and I go that way and we still get to the end of the block, which one of us is right? Mm. We both are, as men, pimps, we understood that and we embraced it. And instead of us fighting or hating on each other about it, we liked it. Oh, man, that nigga Dre, man. That nigga forever wearing them gators, man. You, you know, we go whatever. Right. And if, it, 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 if it's taken in the wrong way, we'll even stand up and straighten it up. Mm. You know, nah, man, you taking that shit wrong, man. I'm just talking blah, 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 whatever. We, we got a uniqueness about us that I'm trying to not generalize, but over the uh, years, being a man, doing whatever men normally would do, has been programmed out of us. You know, you can't look. Look, we used to put mirrors on our shoes and, and put our foot while we talking to the girl, put our foot between her legs and be looking down at the mirror so we can see her draws. <laughs> I mean, that was how you become a man. You, not that doing that makes you a man, but you know, wanting to do that kind of stuff is what separates you. But see, everybody is unisex now. They want to play with Barbies and the, the, the girls want to play with tanks and all that shit. Man, we didn't come up like that. We didn't have no identity crisis. Tay, what you think, man? Man, I think you know, people always ask me uh, first of all, Dre, appreciate you having me on, man. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying, man? Pleasure, man. You know, but you know, people, people always ask me, Tay, what happened to the game? Hey, man, and I tell them this, hey, man, the game stayed the same. The game haven't changed at all. You know, right. there's some people say, oh, well, who made the rules? It's not about who made the rules. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, but there are some rules, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's, it's you know, and, and nowadays it's like they didn't went past that. These so-called pests nowadays, they do anything, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, call the pimping. You, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like one thing we have that they do not have nowadays that's really turned the game to like, you know, uh, they didn't took the glitter and glamour away from the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying uh, we get together, man, and have a party, you know, set it up, man. Every pimp in this hole going to be there, man. Sharp so to the teeth. Not worried yeah. about nothing else, man. In a nam gun in the motherfucking house, man. Not one, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, man, you pimping. You call yourself pimping, but you riding on a track with another dude that calls himself a pimp, but he got a pistol on his side. But y'all call yourself pimping. Say, man, you supposed to say, hey, man, you know what? That ain't pimping, man. You know, if you if you going to take that gun back home, man, I'm getting out the car, man, because that ain't pimping, man. That's not how the game go. See, the past five years, say, man, it's been so, what, every other week, they they, they taking a pimp out, you know? And from my understanding, it's always been another pimp, you know? So I'm saying, man, nowadays, you know, I'm asking you pimps out there right now, or y'all, you know, in the game, man, what happened to the glitter and the glamour? What happened to the cop? What happened to the camaraderie, man? You know, say, man, a pimp go to New York, coming come through my air, pimp go to New York, he get to New York, hey, man, the track booming, he get on the phone. Hey, Bud, hey, man, this track booming, man. Man, you better get on down here. Bud, get on the phone. Hey, 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 Dre, hey, hey, man, this track down here booming, man. Man, you better get on down here. Man, within a week, hey, man, the track full, man, and everybody getting money. Ain't nobody tripping because everybody getting money. Everybody doing their job, man, you know? And like you say, Bud, <laughs> the game is knowledge and coming through my era, even nowadays, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to pimp the way you pimp, and you're not going to pimp the way I pimp. But in the end, <laughs> we're going to be pimping. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we all gonna get the test that running book. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? You know, That's you know, right. Get that camaraderie and that glamour, man. You know, cocking your collar, talking shit, man. And you know what I'm saying? We kicking it. Man, not being worried about, man, I can't roast this motherfucker too much, man, because he might come up with a pistol, man. Yeah, I'm like, man. I'm like, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, what the hell is that, man? You know, and it's like, it just baffles me, man. You know, I don't ever see nothing about no, no pee picnics, no pee parties, no, no gatherings, man, getting together, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you shop, your whole shop, and y'all just having a party, man. Pimps and hoes only. None of that square shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about that player's ball shit. I ain't talking about that. I'm no, talking about. Tell you, you talking about a real Tim and Hope party. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, like, yeah, nothing like we used to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we used to have a picnic every summer. Nothing but pimps and hoes. A square would come to the fence and look in and ride off. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> the glitter and the glamour, man. You know, it's like it's like it looks like it's gone, man. And you hey, know, hey, that, Dre, Dre, let me add this. You know what's really gone is the pride. Mm. They ain't got no pride. We was very fucking proud of what we was doing, man. I'm talking about seriously proud. It 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 it, it, it was about if it, I had to go to the store to to get some zigzags. I mean, I ain't saying I got dressed to do it, but that's my mentality because I I, I represent something. You know, I'm, I'm not a nobody. I get ready. Represent. You ain't got to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's me and this thing. We, we, we just shit. They, they didn't, they didn't hate us, but they damn sure didn't like us. Mm. We set the bar high, you know, and it was no faking. Cause if that nigga did it, I was doing it, and if I did it, he was doing it. So it ain't like some nigga lucky. Motherfuckers could do this. If they get out and we stay deep, we stay deep and we traveled. We gave them bitches shit. You know, uh, the biggest motherfucker that had that was one deep got roasted. <laughs> hey, hey, let me ask you guys Everybody a question. Everybody that got one deep got roasted. Let me ask you guys a question because you, you guys touched on something about how cats are nowadays. And do you think that it has a lot to do today? The guys today have not been developed because the lack of reverence and respect for males around them. Because I grew up and, of course, had a lot of respect for my father and it made it easier for me in the game to have respect for another male. But do you think a lot has to do with a being raised in an environment and they have no men around, only matriarch, only uh, uh, matriarchs, but no patriarchs around and it's feminized a lot of men? to have them in a position, like when a woman is raised in that, I'm just asking a question on your perspective. A yeah. woman is raising nowadays children by themselves and they hear in the household, I don't need no man. So the boy grows up, I don't need no man. So it's hard for him to have respect for another man, but we didn't have the issues. What do you guys think about that? Hey Dre, I wrote a book, Single Mother, He's Your Son. And it's about that. It, 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 it See, women don't realize it because it isn't their intentions. I don't, just a quick history lesson, man. Uh, women's live back when it started, you know, it was about equal pay for equal work. That's all it was about. And then when they started making progress in that, the, it kind of went off. And then those gay girls got in there. And that's when it started being uh, when us against them. And slowly but surely, as the dudes, was getting knocked off for crack and all that other stuff. All the representation of the male role models weren't on the streets. Because if you remember, when we was coming up, we would see five, six, seven motherfuckers that will slap us up upside the head yeah. and people take our ass to school. And they know damn well we want to be, you know, out there with them. Nigga, you ain't coming out here till you can. You know, we, we had that, man. So these cats today... They don't have no direction, none. So what they do is, is is harbor hatred for any type of success because they can't do it. Take go get a car instead. Of some, take go get a car when we was out. Man, this nigga is fine. Woo -woo. Today, shit. 
They want to cut his wheels off and stuff, man, mm -hmm. because they 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 can't compete. We were competitors. I'm talking about we were o Olympic athletes as far as that go. We competed, but we never wanted to win so bad. We gonna do something to you. You know, we we gonna we gonna let our pimping do the talking. Mm, and and right. if we gotta compliment that shit, then of course we gonna open our mouth. But what really won anything was you looking like a motherfucking pimp. Whatever it was, the conversation, uh, the argument, whatever, man. As long as you kept it pimping, you know, it didn't let yourself get pushed out. You know, you was representing being a man. Mm. You know, all the way. And, and yeah, they ain't like that today, man. They, they, nah, they a lot of these dudes today, you know, a lot of, a lot of these dudes today, one of them, their major problem is they can't control their emotions, man. Yes. You, know, you, see it on the, you see it on the news day after day after day after day. You know, I just saw the news today. This dude, 21, you know, he shot his girlfriend in the head because she broke up with him. I'm like, man, uh, it's like this kind of stuff is it's like every day. And it's like, what could make one pimp want to kill another pimp? Motherfucker, control your emotions. You know, you're acting like a little bitch, motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? You know, seem like they can't take no roastings nowadays. You know what I'm saying? You, man, you don't believe you a man? You know, take a roasting, dust your ass off, and get back to doing what you do. You know, See, it's like, that, that, that's a you know, they, they, it's like they're missing that one step to really being a man and taking on a man's responsibility responsibilities you know you can only act like a wild kid for so long you know but when you step into the game or when you become a doggone man and you're gonna have to sooner or later all that stuff man that should be behind you and if a man don't long learn to control his emotions <laughs> he gonna ride wind up behind that steel uh that steel man you know writing some motherfucking letters man mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying <laughs> you know because it's just man it's just so it's, it's a, so many layers to becoming a man, you know, and, that, and these, you know, these youngsters nowadays think they can jump over all this and just, you know what I'm saying, become a man in one day or, or, or order something online, you know, oh, how to become a man and get it in the mail, you know, and become a man like that, you know. Experience is the best teacher, but you got to control your doggone emotions. You got to think like a man to, to, to act like a man and be a man. You so know. let me let me let me say this be, uh, to both of you guys. A lot of people out here are hearing all this good information, and they struggle with controlling their emotions. They don't know how 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 will we advise some of these young men to do so? Because the the way that I see it is, I had somebody constantly around me, making me understand that me having that behavior was not manly. Right, so that, so that constant that. person checking me. This is not a man stuff. This is not, but they don't have that. So we're how they don't do want to hear it. They don't have that respect. They they, they don't want to take the time to hear it. Hey, old nigga, I don't want to hear that shit. Okay, they, well, they learn the hard hear. way. Bump, keep bumping your head, you know, till that motherfucker explode. You understand know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they, they 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 don't want to hear it, man. But the thing about them, you you that's what I do with with my school, man reality you know I, I i am uh reality for you and what i'm saying is reality is don't nobody give a fuck what you think man don't nobody care nothing about how you feel if you can't handle it then it's gonna handle you whatever it is being emotional being mad any of it if you don't handle it it's gonna handle you and the only way you can handle it is to be able to stand up to it. And man, I go hard in class. You know, I, I, if they do some punk shit, I tell them that's some really punk ass shit, man. You wouldn't make it three seconds on the streets looking like that, sounding like that. You know, they'd be scared to talk. You know, uh, they want to say whatever they want to say, but they saying it so low, you got to ask them to repeat themselves. I explained to a man in the streets, that's so you got punk in you. You, you talking like that. You want a motherfucker judging you like that? So what I'm saying is, once you teach them basic parameters, they don't need nobody. They can check themselves every day on everything they do, because all you got to do is think about it. And that's what they don't do. 
They scared to think. They just rather think, they, think before they. You mean think before they act or think? Period. They need to think both, but they scared. <laughs> to, they scared to think. Period. You know, they would rather not think about it and let whatever just happen, and then they'll roll with the punches instead of them having confidence enough to do whatever you would do. Dre, you got this woman's doing whatever and it's causing a problem. Now, whatever you would think to do it, it's going to be to have her and keep doing whatever else you do it. And you're going to come up with whatever it is. You didn't think of this yesterday. You, you're thinking of it right now as it happens because you ain't scared to think. You know, and when you think, you go do what the fuck you thought. Mm. <clears throat> you, you, you don't think of something and then go talk to me about it. But I thought it is, and you know, blah blah. No, man, you tell me about it after you did it, hmm. and we kick it then. You know, that's how. I, that's what's missing, Dre. Right? They don't have the gumption to go get it. They're not go getters. So let me say this. Thank you guys for that. Let me let me say this because I know a lot of people be asking. You know, a lot of times I share my test when I was in the game that was going to decide if I was going to really be in this game, right? When the test really came, right? When when the, the game tested me to see if I had a lining in my stomach. And it, when I was in Hollywood and I had two little fine broads, right? And I got served for both of them broads, right? And that was a game saying, Nicholas, we're going to see what you're about to do, right? Yeah. And I took right. it. I stomached it. You know what I'm saying? And that was one of them. That was what allowed me to know, boy, you're about to really do this. Because it created that line and that larceny in my heart when I was faced with that test. Now, today, a lot of people can't be faced that with that test. Like Tay said, they want to kill you and shoot you and everything, right? Yes. Can you show us or tell us one of the times that the game had tested you, that you had to really press through where you know that this was going to be what you was going to do, right? That made you above average as a man. Because when I got that double knocking, that made me feel, when I was able to take it, it made me know, boy, you about to be a motherfucker, like like Rose Rebel would say. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dre, yeah. I remember when I was in Hollywood. Hollywood is going to make you or break you. Mm. So I'm, I'm fresh in Hollywood. I got one bitch, you know, and I'm, I don't really know shit, but I'm, I'm going on what I know. And I send baby out. And, uh, and Hollywood was on full of was full of sharks. Hey, 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 so <laughs> so me and Lonnie Mac end up going to my room and we get to talking and we talk about what a bitch will do. And I'm saying man, my bitch ain't hardly finna come in this motherfucker without calling me woo 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 telling me woo woo woo. And there's a knock at the door. And I say, Who is it? And the bitch say Sandy. Now, now I looked at Lonnie and Lonnie started cracking up because nigga, what your hoe doing here? So I opened the motherfucking door. The bitch arm in the sling, her her, her uh, skirt tore off, you know, and she got some other. She had to jump out of Trick's car, and she was uh, had been in the hospital. And and then uh, I, I, Lonnie say, nigga, you got a pimp, and he got up to leave, and he said, just pimp, nigga, because <laughs> I didn't know what to do. She closed the door. I mean, I closed the door and turned around. And the first thing I said to that bitch was that was your fault. And then I had to just back it up, which I started pointing out. You didn't check the door. You didn't check the window. You didn't do this. You didn't do that. You sprung on the money. And before it was over, that bitch looked at me and say, damn, I didn't think of none of that. And I say, that's because you ain't no motherfucking pimp. <laughs> my, my motherfucking pimp be trying to keep that shit going yeah. so he think of everything but that showed me because I wanted to say damn baby <laughs> you know I wanted to say some shit like that honey are you alright <laughs> <laughs> but I, I didn't say it and the next day she was fucked up I had to let her stay home a couple of days and when she went back out, that bitch was just she she was the proudest motherfucker. That that made her too. It made both of us. Mm -hmm. It was the first thing to happen to either one of us that was serious. Because mm -hmm. we both was turnouts. <laughs> Thank you. Man, I got started, I, I, I got started kind of like like you I mean, I I had a mentor, you know. I'm saying he and he groomed me, you know, he, you know. 
he really grew me live right down the street, man. I was running errands for him, man, and, and doing everything. But then when I when I got to Hollywood, you know, I got knocked for my first three. You understand know me? But that wasn't a lesson. So then after that, man, you know, I just kept getting that knowledge and kept getting that knowledge, you know. Then I got three D. And here's another lesson I learned, you know, when you when when you whether you in the game in life, period, man, you gotta make sure that your record is like you ain't got no tickets. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you ain't got no no doggone traffic warrants. You know, you ain't got no half open bottle in the trunk of your car. You know, I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, you ain't smoking no weed in your car. You know, because all this, it's gonna it, you can you you can have a problem. Not saying that you would. You know what I'm saying? So the reason I'm saying I learned another lesson because I'm 3D. You know, uh, I'm straight. I got some doggone tickets. I go to jail. For one and a half night, for like one and a half nights, right? When I get out, I don't have no bras, right? They gone. Learn that lesson. Mm. Took me three weeks to come up. So for three weeks, you know, I ain't going back home, you know, you know, because I, I I know this for me. Why? Because I just see I just see my catch hand. I got my knowledge. I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? I'm just learning through these mistakes. You know what I'm saying? So what I do is. For three weeks, man, <laughs> every doggone day, I go in the restaurant, sit down. You know how they had crackers on the table. I go in there and sit down, man, like I'm going to get something to eat. They give me some water, you know, put the crackers in my pocket, man, drink the water and go on. I went through that for three weeks, man. Hey, man, without quitting, you know, because there was too many holes on Sunset. And I knew, man, that that game was calling me. I knew I was ready, man, because I'd already seen my catch in. I had the knowledge, but... You got to believe in yourself, you know. Oh, and in turn, you know, yeah, them, them three that knocked me when I was green, my mission was to get them back. Yeah, I knocked all three of them back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 but you know, Dre, you got to believe, man. Man, you got to believe, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that you can see, you know, a see through money, water, spot, dry land. You know, you got to believe that shit. You know, believe in you. You got to have that confidence, you know. And if any motherfucker that call himself pimping, if he don't believe that he's the best pimp in the world, that's your first mistake right there. Mm. You know, you know, that's your first mistake. Let me let, let me know? let me let's unpack that right there because I know people are always wondering why I say I'm the best that ever did it. Because I <laughs> say to them, this is some common shit in the pimp world. Every nigga exactly. that I know feel the same way, and you better feel that way. Because right. if God hear you thinking that you're not that, she's going to go want to find the nigga who think he the best. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. that's right. This is right. common language. Right. Every one of us in this game feel the same way. Nigga, I'm the best the that ever way. did it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Every gotta, one of us. You got, you got to believe it, man. Uh, uh, Self-belief helps you determine your path. You, you, you If you don't believe in yourself, you're going to be trying to Follow, you know, whoever you think is rolling and do what they do. But if you believe in yourself, I mean, yeah, you want to do what they do, big pivot, but you don't want to do what they do just like they do it. I can might just alike. Now, me yeah, and this nigga, we used to, we used yeah, to you know, do shit kind of alike, but it was it was all in the pivot, man. Shit, yeah. so it's, it's 78. I can't get no motherfucking 80 yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I got to get a 78. I ain't yeah, get it because Tay got it. <laughs> yeah, see, plus, plus coming through our area, man, you, you know, um, in order to get a reputation, you got to do, you know, you got to do something bigger and better than the next man, because that's what competi that's what competition is. That's what competition is. That's what life is. I don't care how you get your paper, you know. If you don't create something for you to be better than that man, you know, that's ahead of you, you know. Then why are you even in life? Or you know, you, you you know you're wasting life. If you don't, if you can't grow in life, then you just wasting life, you know. And there is a time limit on life. So I suggest that you just, you know, you gotta just keep reaching, you know. Let me say this. All my life, I I, I live I, I've been living above my means. Why? Because that keep me grinding. Mm. You, you know, I don't want it to be easy. You know, I want to keep my grind on. You know, mm. I got my goal. My goal is way bigger than me. Wow. So, 
So I, I got to keep moving up. Whatever you striving for in a pro, and, and it, within one year, if you're not closer to whatever that goal is, then you got to take a step back, you know, and regroup. Because every year, got to, every year in your life should be progress. I'm saying moving forward to whatever your goal is, you should be closer and closer. You know, it don't take no doggone lifetime to touch that top. It don't. It just takes the right idea and the right plan, you know, and for you to keep your nose to the grindstone until they get it. See, nowadays, to me, you know, the pimps that's in the game, you know, and not pimps, are even, not even just pimps, period. Men, period, nowadays, they don't grind on their dreams. That's what it seems, it seems to me. They don't, you know, they don't grind on it, you know. It's okay to sit back and, you know, speak on somebody else, you know, but every morning you got to look in the mirror. You know, you you know, you have the nerve, you speak on somebody else and they progress, you know, but you really don't have nothing to show. You can just talk good. You you know what I'm saying? And that don't get you nowhere. You got to put your ideas in effect. Like like they say, you know, you got to put your mind your money where your mouth is. You know, and to me nowadays they you know, they don't have that, you know, that man, you know, let you know, man, this is who I am, you know, let me show you who I am. Let me show you what I can do. They it, just like they missing that man. I, I guess you call it that drive, man. You know, I <coughs> I think that's a big problem nowadays, man. Man, you know? people don't today. They they don't have the um, gumption to you know follow through with something they think because they're too scared to fail. See, a lot of people tell me you show us a bragging motherfucker. Yeah, but I brag for one reason only. And that's when I put myself on front street, I know if I don't do what the fuck I said, I'm going to get laughed at. Mm. So I put myself on front street. Hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that so that I can do it. And when I do it, I ain't really you know, saying I'm the greatest because I did it. I'm saying if you don't notice that a motherfucker has to have a plan and you got to follow through with your plan. How the hell are you going to get something done just saying you want to do it? You got to figure out how to do it. You got to critically think, man. When I got, I, I put out there when I was in school that I was going to get straight A's. I was a motherfucker smart enough to get straight A's. Now, when I said it, I was just talking shit. I really was just talking shit. And some motherfucker come on there, you know, uh, talking some shit too. That I can't do shit. You just run in your mouth. You hold my. I said, "Well, watch." Now I was in my ba uh, bachelor's program, and I had already got two C's, so I couldn't get straight A's in there. But when I went in my master's, I had this mentality of what to do. Uh, in, in higher learning, the 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 instructor wants you to take the information at hand and put it together to where it could take you somewhere other than what it has taken you to. As long as you could use information you got in that class to support your theories, you can't be wrong. And I realized that. And I realized I'm, I came from a place none of them motherfuckers came from. You know, you know how we live. Mm -hmm. What I would do, nobody else would do. So otherwise, I was set out to prove that what I'm saying is correct. Now that's going nine out of ten times going against what's standardly correct. But if you can support it with theories and that you have read and that's accepted as you know a uh, uh, quality information, you cannot be wrong. And matter of fact, when you do that, that's going to propel you over the person that gets the answer correct. Because you have created, you created some shit. You took information and created some shit. That's what higher learning is. You don't suppose to just learn the same shit over and over and over. Okay, if you want to take a test and get the correct answers, do that. But learning this shit is supposed to teach you something else. Or, or else you didn't apply it. If you if you can't take what you say you learned. Let's say right now we in class and then we get done right now. And you say, yeah, I learned that. If you can't take it out and use it right now, you didn't learn shit. Mm. 
You didn't learn nothing, and that's what people do. They just memorize. Mm. They memorize the correct information, but they don't apply the information to themselves or their lives. That's the only way you're going to know if you can you do it. It's like the game operation. You know, uh, you ain't going to let no motherfucker to use some kind of game apparatus to take the kidney out, take your kidney out. And, and matter of fact, Drake, you had yours, Dirk. So what yeah. I'm saying is, whoever it was that did it, I bet you was absolutely sure he was at the top of his class. <laughs> you ain't going to let no motherfucker that got a B <laughs> come fucking operate on you. <laughs> Shit. I know I ain't. Right. Motherfucker hey, got, got to get A's, man. Shit. Hey, Drake, let me say this. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Go ahead, Drake. Let, let me ask you. Let me say this real quick. Go ahead, Tay, because okay. I'm going to unpack something you guys said. Okay. Uh, what do you think uh, men's problem is today with standing up and being who they are? What, 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 what do I think? Yeah. Um, I think that <clears throat> the definition of what a man is, um, they change the definition of what a man is. So now all these young men growing up have a false definition of what a man is, right? They don't under they don't know what a man is. So they growing up and don't even know what's been taught to them is feminine ca characteristics. And, you know, they have that thing I'll call to to toxic masculinity. I'll sign right. up for that. I'll sign up for that. That's me right there. Let me. <laughs> yeah, I'll sign up for that. But they see, got so many things that's confusing nowadays. Exactly. But let me let me unpack some. Uh, Rosebud said something. For everybody in the chat and that's watching, I'm, I'm I want you to understand because a lot of these jewels will go over your head, and I want to mm -hmm. make sure I unpack the minds of these geniuses. These men are geniuses. I want you to understand that. And I'm going to unpack just a couple things. One thing Rosebud said that you could have missed. If you can't use it right now, you haven't learned anything. Understand the genius in that statement. If you can't use it right now, you haven't learned anything. That goes against the structure, educational system that has taught you to be a slave, right? Because you go through four years and you won't use shit that you done went through. You done wasted four years. Rosebud said, and I want you guys to understand this. I want you to jot it down, put it on your goddamn walls. I want you to hear what he said. This revelation, this genius said, if you can't use it right now, you haven't learned anything. All right. The next one, Shante said something that you probably missed. But I'm trying to make you understand the genius that these men, the knowledge that they've gained that is genius, that will transform your whole fucking life if you tap in. Shante said, I live above my means. Now, that shit is contrary to what you're taught, right? They teach you to be a good citizen, to leave, live within your means, right? Why? So that you could be a good little slave. Don't exercise yourself. Don't challenge yourself. Don't think that you're great. Don't think that you can achieve the impossible. No, just be a good little slave. Shante said, I live above my means because that keeps me grinding. That is a fundamental principle. Put it on your fucking walls. Listen to that shit. Read it every goddamn day. Them two things right there, those are fundamental principles in addition to all the other things that Rosebud and Shante are saying. Tap in and bring your whole fucking mind. We're not fucking playing around here, right? And all you in this chat, you need to go ahead and bless these brothers for that game because I'm sending it right to them. Hey, go Drake, ahead. see, an another thing that these guys don't really understand is dedication. See, once we decided what we wanted to be and, and start chasing it. Whatever happened that was negative just made us more stronger about going to get it. Whatever that happened that was positive, it just made us more stronger about going to get it. What I'm saying is dedication makes you, no matter what happens, if you if it's a horse race, if it's a car turning the corner, it all got something to do with that game you got. And you motherfucking trying to see what that has to do with it. You Nothing ever goes on 
that you don't relate to what you dedicated to. I'm talking about everything we did and thought almost <laughs> any kind of conversation to me and this nigga had was about some pimping. Period. What are we going to do? How are we going to do it? I never came up thinking like this nigga. I came up thinking like the regular <laughs> Bay Area nigga that just, I know what a new Cadillac looked like, but I ain't trying to have one. Man, I got the fucking with this nigga. <laughs> Dre. Yeah. Your boy was known in Hollywood. Uh, I, I, the, they said, man, what's your name? I say Rosebud. I met you before. That nigga said, Rosebud. Rosebud. Oh, yeah. You that nigga with that old legend, huh? <laughs> nigga, nigga, this was, <laughs> this, this was uh, 76 or 77. And I had a 72 Fleetwood that I thought was fly as hell. <laughs> this nigga say, nigga, in Hollywood, if you can't ride the year or last year, these niggas walk. <laughs> hey, pause, pause, pause. For you cast, oh, let me pause this real quick. Hey, for you cast that don't understand what's going on, I'm going to bring you up to speed. Let me tell you the camaraderie and the pressure for you to be excellent, what Rosebud just said, right? What he's explaining to you, gotta break this shit down and, and into square terminologies for you, you niggas. You're missing it, right? You what know he's it, man. Is that the game was so powerful, so polished, that when you bought a car, nigga, and it was 1977, I don't care how beautiful your motherfucking car was, if you rode up in a 1972, nigga, you was disqualified. Because right. you had to ride in the fucking year. That's the pressure that these niggas was under, nigga. Hey, 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 Dre, Dre, and he did that around all the niggas that was making names for themselves. So, so think about how that made Rosebud feel. Rosebud, pimp like a motherfucker. Watch and see what Dre, I did. Dre, Dre, Dre's pop was Dre's pop was there. Dre saw that shit. Hey man, Hollywood's the only place where niggas change suits four, five times a day and never wear the same suit in thirty days, man. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so, and I, I don't really see that nowadays, man. You you know, I don't, no, you don't, see I, I, I don't see it. I'm saying, when I talk about the glitter and the glamour, it, it, that, that's what's missing. And I, I'm trying to figure out why, you know, I didn't been on a few tracks. I see these niggas getting money, but getting money and not having a plan on what you're going to do with it then you just got some money in your pocket. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, if you're trying money. to come up fast as I get it, yeah. whatever goal in my head, I'm going to get that shit. Oh, I want this ring. That's my goal. Bam, that's a, that's off my list. I'm moving on to the next thing. Always bigger and better than that fly nigga I see out there in the street, my competition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. <laughs> you know, and I, I don't see that glitter and glamour nowadays, man. It, you know, I keep saying that because it's missing, man. You know, you know, it. If you're not, if you're not doing it for what the game is designed for, which is a stepping stone, you know, to your success, you know, we used to say that pimp or die, you know, but as we got older, you know, we learned that it's just a stepping stone, mm -hmm. you know, to the rest of our life. That's all it is, you know, but it's just like, I just don't see, I just don't see the moves being made, you know, I, I just don't see the growth. Let me say that. I just don't see it. And, you know, that's what I'm wondering, you know, just what's going on, you know? You know, where where's all that glitter stuff? I mean, where is it? You know? You know, why 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 can't I ride down the street, see you coming out the store? Oh shit, I know what he do. You know, I it, it, it ain't, I don't see that. You 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 know what I mean? You know, a female see you, you in the spot. Oh shit, I know what he do. I ain't gonna even talk to him, you know. Oh, I'm gonna talk to him if it, you know what I'm saying? So is, is just missing and i think all in and, and all this you know it's one thing to be competitive but competition and hate that's two different things mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? don't speak on what i have if you don't have nothing bigger and better than me otherwise you just need to just you know what i'm saying you know i mean it's like and it seems like there's a lot of that going on maybe that's where all these pistols is because maybe they don't believe 
I don't know, man. You know, maybe maybe all these youngsters in the game now, maybe they got this idea that, you know, instead of going out here to, you know, to 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 reach my hand out and get paid and, and spend some game with some niggas, man, and you know what I'm saying, me and check my trap, you know, I'm gonna take this pistol out here and the first motherfucker say something wrong. You know, I mean that's what like. instead of going to pimp, I'm going to the OK Corral every night until it's my until my numbers up. You know, that kind of seems like that's how they think it's not that right? mentality is like it, it has no longevity. No. No, no longevity. No. The way, the way we rolled, man, we could keep rolling for another 25 years because because we play safe. <laughs> but not safe out the way, safe. We play smart. And it mm. keeps you out the way. <laughs> I remember when we were growing up and my dad was telling me a story about <clears throat> um, a friend of his he, that he got in the game with. And, you know, he said they went to California uh, from Ohio and, and, you know, they were struggling and they had to, you know, they had like one suit a piece. Somebody would wear the sports coat and then switch off with the sports coat and then with the pants. And they had one little car at the door they had to hold while they was driving and shit. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so he said it got too tough for his friend and his friend went back home and he got into doing hair and stuff. Right. So my dad said he stayed down. And so. <clears throat> so a couple of years later, his partner came back and uh, I forget the spot on Western that used to, all the pimps used to go to. I don't know if it was the Red Hut or something like that. Do you remember that spot over there on Western? Yeah, yeah on the other side of Western. Yeah. On, yeah. On Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. Right. So my dad said he came back and he said, uh, Eddie Charles, you know, talk like, talk like this, Eddie Charles, you know, he said, so dude came back and he had a broad, you know, he said, Eddie Charles seen him coming in. And he said, uh, uh Eddie Charles said, like, oh, yeah, uh, what you gonna do with that little girl right there? Uh, uh, what you gonna do, fix her hair? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just the pressure, man. Yeah, if you, right, right. Man, if right. You, he went home and, and went to beauty school and tried to come back, and they grilled his ass. Yeah. The, the way you guys had it in that day, niggas could not have survived that atmosphere, the purity no, no. of the game back then. Because you sure had to be a man to take us, especially all them roses, you know. I, I, I had a few roses because, plus, what we had, Dre, you know, we the camaraderie was so strong. Just say you come from out of town, you know, you know, and you touching on pimps, bitches, and you, you know, say, man, we had a round table, and you know, we had a round table once. We can talk about, well, man, what's going on, man? Well, man, this and that. Say, man, we get together and we come in and you know, we come and straighten you out. You know, say, I mean, you know, man, you 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 know this this our turf, man. This Hollywood, you know, you know, we pimp here, man. You know, all that bullshit selling pimp. No, no, we don't do none of that, man. We pimp up here, man. Mm. You know, a lot of niggas didn't like it. You know, we had a few squabbles, but that wasn't the point, man. The point was, you know, you ain't gonna fuck up us getting this paper. Hey, is it because, true? My dad said up. this. My dad said that when that, a kind of situation like that happens, he called it the spotlight. He said we put the spotlight on that nigga, man. That that's nigga right. Ain't no that's pimp. right. That's that's right. No boy. That's you right. Know, that nigga a killer. You know. That's right. You put the spotlight on that nigga. And you got to watch out for the spotlight. Yeah, <laughs> man. Unless yeah, you can man. stand it now. Because the spotlight yeah, but, get on the nigga and you can stand but, it. It's cool. Yeah, but you know something, Dre, you know, and, 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 and I don't think it ever happened. If you just think about all the pimps that's across the doggone United States, if they could all get together and put in $5 a month, I'm just saying that's just to say $5, you know. Just think of how many. You know, if they could come to like that, they could have a hell of an organization. They could own real estate. They could own all kinds of stuff. But that had never happened because you know how, how these actors do when they come in for a movie role or whatever, you know, it's big actors or whatever. They tell them to leave their ego at the door. Mm. When they come to the game, they'll never be able to do that. Because you, you got to come in the door with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, God damn it. You got to come in the door with it. That's right. You got to come in the That's door right. with it, baby. <laughs> Hey, let me let me just say, man. Um, <clears throat> um, my dad was telling me a story about Sweet Jesus. He said Sweet Jesus had like the beard, and and he said that Sweet from Jesus the bay. from Money the bay, from the bay, bro. Yeah, yeah. He, said, he said Sweet Jesus, but you know he had the driver and shit, and he said that uh, long perm and all that. Long yeah. perm. He said so. 
So he never talked to the hoes. He had a driver pull over and talk to the hoes, roll the window down. He see the and the driver would see the hoe. And uh, the driver would say to the hoe, Excuse me, Jesus would like to speak to you. <laughs> <laughs> Just the color, man, the beauty, the color. Man, that was a day, baby. Man, that was him, man. I, I met him a few times, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man, hey. That nigga took his shit serious back yeah. then. Yeah, about whatever, whatever his name was, there was something behind it, right? You know? and, and they did it all the way, man. So that's just how how it was it, because we really just thought of us highly of ourselves, man. I can't impress that enough. We thought very highly of ourselves, man. Because we didn't argue, you know, we didn't, you know, we didn't want to do none of that bullshit, you know. <laughs> hey man, and we had to make we sure we had at least, 50, at least fifty, at least fifty thousand plus on every time you step out of the door. Andre, you already know about that. I ain't telling you, you already know about that. So, <laughs> but, uh, but I'm saying nowadays it, it's just completely different because you, it, it's like, you know, you see one person that call themselves in the game, you see one, you see another. They like Ike and Mike. They all alike. All of them, you know, not not all of them, but it's a it's it's a few that's down. But I'm saying it's like I'm getting back to the same thing, man. It's like, hey, man, you know, I should be able to see you and know what you're doing because mm -hmm. it because that game that's what it called for, you know, yeah. show and tell. You know hey, what I'm saying? How about how about how about um, you know, for a young guy out there, uh. You guys have been friends for so many decades, man, and I alluded to this earlier. We don't know today what real friendship is. How is it that you and Bud established that type of friendship to this day, that type of bond? What was the key to that? To If we was to share that to try to give to our people today because we suffering in that department, what would you say that keeps people in a friendship? Is it trust? Is it trust. manhood? Yeah. What do you think it is? Yeah. Hey, hey, let me tell you something, man. This nigga done did some shit that I just thought was fucked up. So it ain't none of that. It, what it is is is, 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 is is there's nothing that you could, as far as boundaries, say that as long as that stay inside these boundaries, you'll never fall out. You, you're going to fall out. But what, what keeps you cool is... The ego, the you know, your ego is gigantic, but it ain't so big that you think this nigga can't have nothing. You know, this, I don't care how big my ego was, whatever he did, even if I was mad, was, was what this nigga posed that did. You, you, you know, because I want him to do as good as I'm doing, and I know he did with me, and it don't mean we can't fall out. I remember we fell out for damn near a year or something. <laughs> Hey, 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 Dre, listen, <laughs> we we didn't fell out. I, I'm in New Orleans. I think Tay was in L.A. And something happened and I, I was, this nigga never come, come across and I said, fuck it up and call me. <laughs> 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 when I called him, that nigga said, oh, like nothing happened. Wow. <laughs> like nothing fucking happened. Yeah. And, and I just went with it. <laughs> and we yeah. were back cool. <laughs> yeah. Plus, 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 plus we stay partners, you know, uh, 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 because of the competition. You know, yeah. you know, I, I want to be bigger than him. He wanted to be bigger than me. But, but together, we won't be bigger than anybody else. I told Bud. You know, we, we you know we have been pimping for a while, and I said, "Bud, we gotta do something, man, to let him know we here, man. We gotta let." He said, "Hey, they already know we." They said, "I said, no, Bud, we gotta do something to let these motherfuckers know that we ain't just pimping. We really pimping." Mm. So we gave a dog on party, man. You know, uh, uh, they, a week before they had Robert Kennedy had been there, he had had a big dinner there on the corner of Crescent Heights, so page four. No, the candy store. store. The candy store, exactly right. Yeah. So, so uh, we said, uh, uh, black, you know, it's a tuxedo affair. You know, made some invitations up. Hey, man, talk about some real recognition. And then, every, and then, like every month, you know, we start throwing a big old party. We threw a party uh, uh, at the Beverly uh, Wilshire 
on uh, Wilshire Boulevard, and on top of it was a shy of Iran. During this time, he he had a house on Sunset, and he put human hair on all the on all the private parts. You know what I'm saying? So uh, they bombed his house. So he started staying there. I didn't even know it was there. So we partied, and uh, his bodyguards came down and said we having too much noise. So I said, man, you see what's in here? Look up in here. Now you can go back upstairs with that bullshit, or you can come on in here and party, man, with us, man. I don't want to hear that shit. Hey, man, they came on inside, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you know, doing things. Me and Bud had some Cadillacs. I, I just got out the pen. I had my caddy, man, in the year. Hey, Dre, in a month, three other dudes had the same car like me. Fix it, put the booty on the back and the grill just like me. I said, oh, I said, oh, I see what's going on. So y'all think that y'all matching my, my game. I said, okay, I want to put that all burn, that exotic on their ass. Yeah. And then they all just had to just sit down. Then yeah. Bug went and got the Excalibur from a Rolls Royce. So you know what I'm saying? That's how me and him stay, say buddies, man, with that competition, with that drive to be the best of, in the half stuff, man, more than just, you know, more than just some regular, man, man. Y'all listen to that. I want y'all to hear that, man. Hear that that camaraderie, that 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 reinforcement of competition because that's how I was. That's how everybody in the game is. You know, I'm not gonna let right. a nigga try to outdo me. I right. got to I got to make my mark in the world, man. I need to let a nigga know when they talk about Dre. That nigga Dre's a motherfucker, right. man. Right. And, and, and Dre, right. when you, when you right. reach that, that mark that you got to make. You just forgot about it after you make it because you, you got to reach another one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me say something to you guys. Man, that mark ain't shit, man. I want to make this far. <laughs> more, more. Let me say this real quick because I know other people said, man, I'm glad that you and Rosebud, you know, uh, you know, uh, worked it out and all that. Nigga, the moment, what, listen, what you guys will understand, man, did you see how Rosebud and Shantae say they fell out for a year and all this, man? This shit is not no out of the ordinary shit. When grown men come together and they popping they shit and they popping that corn, nigga, we don't hold that shit. Nigga, we got too much pimping to do to be holding on to a nigga being mad and angry at some nigga. Right. 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 You right. niggas right. do that. Nigga, right. you came in today's ball game with yesterday's score, fool. Yeah, what the hell? I'm about to go mad. So you see that co competitive thing we talking about? So when a nigga get into it with another nigga, it drive a nigga to show, I'm going to show this nigga who the fuck I am around this motherfucker, right. man. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm about to show this nigga right. who I am. That yeah, is right. what drives you. But as far as holding some nigga with you, you mad and angry like the bitch, nigga? I, nigga, I ain't got that kind of energy, nigga, to be holding no right. nigga, carrying no nigga with me. Right. When it was done, it was over with, nigga, we on. Right. I'm doing my shit, he doing his shit. Nigga, this right. camaraderie in the air. You niggas is thinking some other shit because you niggas is squares. You don't understand how this shit works. You niggas is carrying what your mamas did to you and what your daddy did to you and all that motherfucking shit. That's why you niggas can't fly because you heavy, nigga. You heavy with that shit because you got bitch in you. That's the real shit. Nigga, release that shit and go live your life. They, 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 ain't no, they ain't no get to live their life until they release that shit. Please believe. That, that's 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 my real fucking overall message to all the cats that I'll be you know uh, teaching. Yeah, man, I got this game, but this is not what I'm trying to teach. What I'm trying to teach is once you have game, you can look at things in so many different ways. It just keeps increasing what you know, and, and, and as long as you you know face what you have discovered you're gonna leap you know hell of leaps and bounds over the next person be not necessarily over them but you're gonna be that far past them because they don't think things through yeah that's you what got Dre. yeah see, see the guys nowadays you know they what applies what applies to most of them is you know this saying right here they want you to get to the top as long as you don't pass them on the way up, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, you know, you know, they act like your friend, but start having a few things, you know, and and the thing about kills me, you know, nowadays, and it's, it's not only now, but it's, it's just it's been like that forever when it comes to men, you know, if I make a move on something and I come up, 
And I'm telling, I'm showing you, hey man, I came up with this right here. You know, I tell you how I did it. You know, don't think I'm high signing on you. I'm just showing you my growth. See, that's all part of being a man. Either I can get jealous or or or, or I can say, say, man, uh, what you do to get that? You know, well, I got this plan right here, man. What you think about this? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like that's all part of being a man, you know. <laughs> Congratulate me. You know, don't think I'm high siding on you. I'm showing you that, you know, if you apply, hey man, we all moving up. Tay, Tay, what about when you are high siding, god damn it? <laughs> I'll be high side. I'll Nigga, be high you high side like a motherfucker. Uh, I'll be you high side on you. you when you get a bitch. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Bud, I'll be high about? side on you, nigga. <laughs> hey, 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 Tay, you didn't even really high side on me. What happened was I was so overwhelmed by how much sharper you was than me. I just took everything personal. <laughs> <laughs> nigga tried to show out on me. Hey, hey, I'm telling you, the man say, oh, yeah. Rosebud with that old caddy. <laughs> my my hey. caddy was a new five years old. <laughs> hey, 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 bud. I remember you said, man, I've been here. Y'all say, man, you've been here a year. Where you been? You know? I said, you've been here a year. <laughs> and, and I say, I said, bud, you know how to get some recognition here, man? You got to ride in the year, man. You know? You got to ride in the year, wow. you know. I said, I said, you got to make your jury bigger than all these niggas' jury. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You know, hey, to hey, get hey, some hey, recognition. Hey, That's hey, the way Hollywood hey. was. If you wasn't proper, you know, you just, a, you know, hey, hey, Dre, it was over a hundred pimps on the track. It was, it was damn near two hundred holes, you know, wow. in a period of ten blocks. So how many, how many pimps was there if it was two hundred holes? Wow. You understand wow. what I'm saying? You know, so all this competition every day, all day. But I was in with the competition. I'm the first nigga on the track and the last one to leave. So I'm gonna you know, get you. If you ain't right, I, I got you. I got <laughs> you. <laughs> and that's how it really was. I'm scared. <laughs> this nigga used to come up damn there every day. <laughs> every day, Dre. I come up above, be like, damn, take. They ain't staying. I was like, I, they ain't got to stay. But while they there, they getting charged. They getting pimped off. Yes, sir. I move on to the next. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Pure. That's pure. <laughs> but nowadays, it's just like, man, you know, the way I was groomed is that you got to be on the track. You got to, you got to be, you know, you got to wear your heels out walking up on the hoe. You understand know what I'm saying? You know, because you, you can't drive your car up in none of them joints to get that broad. So if your spill ain't in order, you just wasting your time walking up and down the track with nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. niggas have their pretty cars. Oh, that's cool. You know, but you can't take it up in one of them doggone restaurants. Can't take it up in one of them bars. So to get at a female, you got to come straight from the doggone gun. You know. let, me, let me let me let me so, <laughs> let me pull up this comment real quick that this guy put up. He said, "I learned I couldn't be the pimping because I operate with power. I make everybody around me greater than me. I lose battles to win wars. That's why I got politicians in my control." Okay, uh, <laughs> okay. Rob Rob Carpenter, let me just say something to you. I was I was the pimping, right? And I have power, power to change laws, power to lead this country in police accountability, and nobody's done it. Power to have the governor, the, the, the mayor, the senators, power for President Trump to call me on the phone about the work that I've done. But that came from the game. So you said you learned you couldn't be the pimping. You absolutely right you couldn't be the pimping with that fucked up mentality you got. <laughs> Hey, Drake, I'm glad. Let me, let me just say, hold on real quick. Let me just say, listen, every one of us on this panel, the reason why we are extremely powerful is because we can reflect back on what we did. Not what we're in, because none of us are in it, right? But we can reflect back on what we did. That's powerful. That makes us the most power. So I don't want to get, I don't want any of you to be conscripted because you could miss this thing. 
And we don't want you to miss it. That's why we're spending our time here, because our people was in great need, especially black men, are in great need for some information. See, this type of characteristic here, this is a square mentality. This is a boy that's been taught by the system to be a good boy, right? He don't understand that there is knowledge outside of the system's information. Because if you keep using the, simpers, the, sim the system's information, they teach you how to be a good slave. You're going to have to use something outside of their information to be able to conquer them. Now, I don't know what politicians you have in your control, but, nigga, I got the receipts. Go check it out, nigga. This game do wonders. I just wanted to say that. This game do wonders. Dre, Dre you, you get dudes like this cat, you know, uh, they're, 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 he might quote Socrates or, or, or Plato, you know, some shit like that. And then he'll tell me I'm out of touch because I'm old. <laughs> you know, he he quoting shit that's mm -hmm. centuries, thousands of years old, and not he really. Said you was out of touch because you old, bud. Huh? He said you out of touch because you old. Yeah, but but what I'm saying is, see, the sensei is always old. The sensei has always been through all kind of shit. But which one of y'all can handle the sensei? <laughs> They can't handle neither one of us. I'm talking about straight up yeah. conversation, maybe physically, but conversation, mental gymnastics. Come on, man. They couldn't stand a chance with either one of us. But but with but with age come wisdom and knowledge. Yeah. You know, please, I mean, please. I'm saying I'm saying if you if, if you own a quest for knowledge in your life, it it, it, it never stops. So it would it, it would make sense to speak to a person that's experienced through their knowledge of life itself. I'm saying experience is the best teacher. Yes. And you can't get experience out of a person that been around 20 years, 30 years. You got to go past that. So, <laughs> nigga, hey, 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 tell you so always tell the nigga, man, uh, ain't no bitch coming in your sleep. <laughs> hey, he's a cut, man. What you want, man? We just went to bed two hours ago. Yeah, nigga, nigga, I just got me one, man. I had to get up and get me some some milk and it caught me a bra, man. So you ain't nothing coming to a sleeper but a dream, nigga. Please believe. Please believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah but you but but you should like to sleep, Dre. You know? And 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 me, I'd be up because I had to get my kids ready for school. Yeah. So I'm up you know, I'm up early, you know. And I call Bud. I drive my son off, go to the track, you know. I call Bud. Bud you think one of them hoes gonna what knock on your door? You know, <laughs> so, man, you better get up and get out of here, man. I didn't knock me one, man. That shit helped me turn out. Yeah, uh, that's you know, I'm doing it the way I know to do it. But he said, Nigga, you, you sleeping too much. <laughs> shit, it, 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 man, I'm getting out. I get up and get out. Fuck it. Hey, hey the nigga was talking that shit about my car. That nigga, two weeks later, I was brand new on that nigga. Yeah, you sure was. Yeah, you sure was. Then I pulled up on that nigga, and I say, man, is, is we cool or something? The nigga said, yeah. I said, well, take me to get one of them goddamn thing pinkies on your hand. The nigga had a big old five carat pinky on. Oh, nigga took me downtown, and I was sprung. I was sprung. And never went nowhere else to get my jury. Big John. Man, but, but Bud, Bud uh, was from that bay, you know. Bud had a, 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 a ring on every finger. Nigga, he was lucky. Nigga, he was lucky. Boy, I said, Bud. Tell you, no, I ain't had no goddamn <laughs> <laughs> That nigga lied. I said, Bud, you got to get you some jury, man. Yeah. We went down to the jury, man. That nigga went crazy. You know, he went crazy. Couldn't keep him away from that, man. You know. <laughs> then we had another man, this, this was some real shit, man. How often we going to do this, man? 
they look, we didn't have another partner called the Ken Star. So I had a medallion, you know, I think it was like a 85 carats or something like that. So he asked me how many carats. He go down to the same jeweler. He get one with 30 more carats than me in it. You know what I'm saying? So what I have to do, I have to go down and fat mine up a little bit more, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ooh -wee. <laughs> Boy, that positive reinforcement, that competition man. is a mother, man. Man. But, but check this out, you guys. Understand that it wasn't covetousness. <clears throat> I want you to understand this because a lot of people today, you guys have jealousy, right? Covetousness, where the difference between what he was explaining earlier and how we operated was that it was competition. Where you see somebody with something and you want it yours. Covetousness means you want theirs, right? I want yeah. that one. Not I want mine better than that or like that. No, I want that one. That's what you guys got to be careful for. Don't covet nobody's shit. Let there be great, strong competition, right? Where it, it makes you be excellent in your life. It drives you to be the best you you could be. But don't covet another man's shit. I want his. No, I want his. Nah, nigga. You want yours, right? You want yours, not his. That's the difference between what we talking about and what a lot of you niggas is doing today. Amen. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's for sure. So that's look, man, could you guys share? Because I, you, I, I don't want to hold you, brothers, because I know you guys is busy and shit, and I want to be respectful of you guys' this time. But what I do want to do is make sure that people know how to reach you guys. I know people have said to you, Tay, they wanted how to get, how to find out about them game pieces, that some game pieces or something, and that you haven't been around and people miss you. Uh, Bud, can you please let people know how to reach you, how to get in contact with you? Yeah. Uh, and both ask, you guys. Ask Rosebud. Social media. Sorry. Gmail.com. That's my email. Real Talk with Rosebud. That's my blog, you know, and you can catch me on any of those with Real Talk with Rosebud. Uh, blog talk, uh, uh, Twitter, all those. That's the same one. But I want you guys to know I had a real cool time kicking it with you, Drake. You know, I actually heard you use a little profanity today, guy. <laughs> I, I ain't been hearing you do that, bro. So, yeah, somebody said something real salty about this game, and it just really... <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I got too, I got too many I got two legends on here. I can't let that go, man. Hey, man, I'm just saying I, I would love to do something again with you anytime. Just get at me, man. Yeah, uh, Sean, take yeah, yes, it your social it, it, media it, it, handles. Yeah, hey, man, it, it, it's definitely been a pleasure, man. And like that, like I said in the beginning, I appreciate you having me on. You know, it's my uh, pleasure. Yeah, so we are definitely gonna have to do it, uh, do it again, man. Absolutely. Know? Yeah, yeah. How do, how do do people read? What's your what's your uh? Oh 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 oh! oh my 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 email is uh uh Shante Parker forty nine uh at Gmail, mm -hmm. and uh, that's my Instagram. That's my that's my uh, Facebook. So Shante Parker forty nine at Gmail. That's yeah. It. So listen, man. You guys, like I said, man. You guys are. Um, individuals that are here and you know we're fortunate that you're still here still around for us to get information from man it's always yeah, I just had a birthday Saturday I'm 74 oh, did you? now yeah Saturday was my birthday I, I just turned 74 man so wow. you know I really Happy feel birthday, I really feel man. good about that man I feel good I feel healthy man I, I go to the gym I you know so I want to be just like, to be like you when I grow up, brother. <laughs> <laughs> What's the secret to the longevity, you guys? What's the secret to the longevity? So many True. Of us. True. True. Being, being real. Yeah. Being real. You know. We ain't uh, changed in all these damn years. We just got a little more refined. Mm, mm. And if, if there well, was all something. I say, all I can ahead. say to your audience is, Dre, is, you know, Say, man, control your emotions and keep reaching for the sky because it does exist. You know, I know that sounds like an old cliche, reaching for the sky, but trust and believe it exists in life. Life is just a stair step, but you got to take each step at a time. But before any of that, you got to have a goal. 
Without a goal, you're running around like a chicken with its head cut off. You know, you got to have a goal. Plan, plan your life. You know, so appreciate you, Dre. Rosebud, what you got to say to the people, man? Hey, man, the one thing I got to say to you guys is if you have any inkling to want to discover that dude that you missed for the past 15 years, I can reacquaint you with the real you. I can. I, I, I really got it to where I bring it out. And I'm not talking about trying to make you be a clone of me. I'm trying to tell you how to think fast like a computer, you know, from A to B. You, you think like that because, you know, computers use ones and zeros. They eliminate everything else so they can go right directly to the answer. Think about what you would be. I don't know if you know this, Dre, but in the 60s, you know, calculators, you remember calculators. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They started trying to, um, this this calculating company, I, for, I forgot, but then anyway, they started trying, asking about what makes the calculator work so fast. And this is before computers. And then they start saying that if, if they said that it, it goes from one point directly to the next point. Otherwise, they go from A to B. We go from A to Z and all the little points in between. That's how we think. You know, all those little points in between. If we would take the bullshit out, take some of it out. We can't take it all out. But if we would take some of it out, you think much faster because ain't nobody going to get me to take longer than a second mm. to answer a question. Period. I don't care. And, and, it, and it's because I I don't think about – I don't take under consideration anything except what the fuck I'm thinking. That's me. Mm. And I, I'm teaching that. And, and what's happening is it makes dudes – quite a bit more aware of what they really want, which is a big plus, mm -hmm. knowing what you want. Mm -hmm. So let me say, let me, let me just say this uh, to you, you guys out there <clears throat> that um, what we're sharing is not to make you no pimp. No. All right. We're, what we're sharing with you are fundamentals of life that you can apply to any area in life and win with. We're sharing with you a mentality that we was able to use on the bottom. From the bottom, we was able to use this mentality to get to the top, right? In an adverse environment, when everything is around us saying that we couldn't, it was the mentality of the game that we're trying to show you. That is unbeatable. That's your gift if you tap into it. The mentality of this game is unbeatable. And if you utilize this in any area in your life, you will win with it. What I want to do before I let these legends go is I'm going to let, if they're, if they're okay with it, I want to let somebody come online and ask a couple of questions before you guys go, okay. if you guys don't mind. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay, so let me go put this link. This is for you guys want to come online, and I'm going to put this link in the chat to have you share these legends why they why we have them here and appreciate them tay are you planning on doing some more teaching because i keep seeing so many people in the chat saying we ain't seeing tay where he at woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna uh i'm gonna start uh, uh doing some more some more uh, videos yeah you know just that i've been busy with this trucking company uh matter of fact i'm uh, picking up another truck probably in a couple of weeks they be pairing them now you know you, you know you go get them <laughs> And, and you just can't drive them off. They got uh -huh. to take a couple of weeks to go through them and all that stuff. So uh, I've been busy just moving right along with the trucking company, you know. Uh, so I'm just letting y'all know that it don't matter what age you are, you know, if you got the heart to drive, if you want something, you know, more than just what they tell you you can have, you know, you can have more than just a house and a dog on car. Life way bigger than that. That's Life right. is way bigger than that. But they make you, you know, society make you think that that's all, you know, you, you know, see, they, they try to, what you close to, like, or stagnate your mind where, you know, you're not going to go too far. 
you know, and quit, and quit believing this old saying that you got to work 30 years on a job and then start to enjoy yourselves. Stop believing that old, that old tale. Life is not like that. Shoot, you work 30 years, you know, trying to build something. By the time the 30 years is up, your body can't even, what you, you're not even going to be able to do nothing. Okay. You know, get it while you're young and just keep setting it in motion and just keep on moving with it. That's right. You know? So look, we got a couple of you guys on and um, I'm going to let Drip God say something first to these legends. Wait, good afternoon to all y'all. Hey, top um, of it, man. Yeah, I've been a, I've been a fan for a very long time. Um, but I just my my main question was uh was the like the topic of topic of like young black males, like, do you guys have any advice on like psychology practices? You know, because it just seems like everybody's just like on edge. You know what I'm saying? They don't think before they act. So, do you guys have any advice as far as psychology goes? Being a young black male. And yeah, how you guys <laughs> hey, 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 you know, uh, people, they they don't understand. The English language is the only language where one word can mean 400 different things. So what I'm saying is psychology, whether you believe this or not, is really based on how truthful you are with yourself. Mm. If, if you are completely truthful with yourself, not you'll have the perfect balance as far as psychologically speaking, but you will be able to balance different things because instead of uh, thinking this and wondering, are you correct or blah, 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 like people do, you'll think it and you'll go with it because that's what I do. I think what I think and I'm going with it. I'm not saying that I can't be wrong, but I'm not going to wonder, am I right? I'm going to think what I think, and because that's what I thought, I know I'm right. That's what's up. Tay? Well, as far as the psychology part, <clears throat> I just think that nowadays, you know, you never have been able to say what you think, you know, but, you know, to especially to, to another man, but nowadays it's, it, you know, I just don't know where men's heads are, you know. You know, it, it's like you see a brother, you know, you say hi, what's up? You know, you see a brother doing something he ain't got no business doing, you know. Should should you say something to him? You know, I mean it's like, but because the times have changed, any other time, you know, you say something, say, man, you know, bro, come on, bro, you ain't got to do that. You, you know, in the other years ago it wouldn't be no thing, but nowadays I don't think that'll work. You know, if that's what the part that you're thinking about, you know, that is that's the part you're thinking of. Well, right. you can come in when you want to. Okay, I can't hear him, Dre. I know, I mute them. All right, okay. And I, I have one question. I'm sorry, Dre, I don't mean to cut you off, but. Go ahead. Um, in 2023, do you do you guys think there's anything so, uh, like wrong with a man being less hard? Just like, is it okay for a man to be soft? You know, you know, not feminine, but soft, less aggressive. You know. Okay, well, let me let me hit that. Let me hit that, and then I got a uh, right here. This is the Maserati it. shirt. Mm -hmm. who, who you guys got a uh. uh Put you guys you know, your live mute. people got shit going need to mute themselves. Put your mute if you guys on live. Hey, so you guys listen, let me say to you, bro, your your terminology of soft is misconstrued. Some of the most powerful people that have ever existed in the world were the most quietest people in the world. They talk about a Carlos Gambino who was supposed to be the number one gang and mob figure in the world. He never raised his voice. He had a a a, a temperament that was mild because its power was an interior power, not an exterior power. See, the country feeds you guys the idea that strength is physical, right? Now, you know, white, white folks, they don't have an exterior physical presence, but they run the world. So your, your idea of soft and hard is misscrewed. Hard is the people that have come together and be able to run this goddamn world 
and they walk around in, in, in life like the meekest people in the world, right? But you just got to tap into either one of us and keep getting this information. You understand about psychology because the game is full, covers every area of life. So let me go to somebody else. Thank you for your comment, Drip God. Love you, boy. All right, Paul, what's up with it? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, Bud put me on the tape and you, Drake, but I, I learned from Bud and Tay. I, you had mentioned something about um, the mentality of the game, uh, allowing you to win in everything. And I pretty much know what Bud and Tay going to say, but I still want to know what they're going to say. But I want to know, uh, I want to. I want you to tell me more about what you mean by that. The mentality of the game? Yeah. You want to know what that is? It's, you know, um, I think I heard Bud say an American pimp is like trying to teach astrophysics to, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Listen, to the wino, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, Bud did say that. Right, right. So, I mean, I can't just give you a 30-second, you know, uh, explanation of the vastness and the beauty of the game, right? That's why you have to go over there to where Rosebud is, to where Shantae is, where I'm at, so that you can begin to learn some of the fundamentals of this game. You know, if somebody tell you they could they could give you the game in 20 seconds, in, in, in 20 minutes, run from them because they ain't got nothing to give you, right? That's why you need to be in class over there with Rosebud or with Tay or myself. So get up, get up in this class, man, because I it would do a disservice for me to give you a quick, a quick uh, 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 explanation of the game because it's just too vast, and I'm not going to do that to the game. That's why you got to get in class, loved one. Hey, hey, Paul, let me tell you something. But his answer, even though it didn't directly say this, his answer is what it's all about: the mentality. He says it's too much; it's so vast. Otherwise, it's no particular way to think. It's the way you think because you got this game. You see everything differently. Mm -hmm. you, you see butterflies flying differently. You see birds flying. You think differently. You got this mentality. No matter what, it's, it's like going to be turned into what you about. Wherever we going, we going to a, a, a funeral. Man, we, we might catch a bitch there. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? It's everywhere. Your mentality is is you, you're not like okay. Uh, I'm, I'm when I get over there, I'm gonna turn on the pivot. It's not like that. You can't do that. It's always on. It never goes off. That's where you gotta get. That's that that's when you got that mentality. Everything you think has to do go through the filters of this game you got. Thank you, Paul. We got to go to the next person. I don't want to hold these OGs too long. Love you, loved one. Holler back. Mr. D. Gordon Franks. What's up, loved one? Hold on. Let me get you back on here, man, because your thing is, is low. Hold on. Hold on. Gordon Franks, you on, family. What's up? We can't hear you, family. You got your, your you got, you muted. You got your stuff muted. Okay, he said, hang on. We can't hear you, loved one. You got your stuff muted or something. I'm going to keep you in here. Figure it out. Let me go on to Sir Ism real quick. Sir Ism, go ahead, family. Hey, hey, I'm in there, Drake. You in here, family. Yeah, you in there, man. <laughs> hey, hey, salute to my loved one, Shantae, yeah. man. You know it's always hey, love, hey, man. Sir Ism, always a pleasure, man. Always a pleasure, man. Salute to you too, Rose, bud. You know, I didn't watch the stream many a time, man. I, old Steve Dean brought me over to your channel one day, but I told him I've been watching Rose, bud, for years, man. All right. Good yeah, out. yeah, yeah. Salute to you, man. And then I'm going to go to this brother here, uh, Gorgeous Dre. You know, maybe you don't know me now, but you know, at one time, man, I don't know who you was talking about in the movie American P, man, but you said, hey, man, it's like when you got them gators. It was like I had arrived. So when I walked up with JC one time, man, and I was right there, man, and I had my gators, my first pair. And you said, wait a minute. Look at Olex. He got on gators, man. 
Oh, man, that made my motherfucking year, my month. Man, I'm telling you, man, I had to go get me an Eldorado. Make me Mac a little harder, man. Understand me? You know, back there, we used to be around with Easy Moheasy. You know what I mean? Easy Money and and Toddy P, man. You know, some some glorious, glorious days, man. You You understand me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, salute to Kenny Red, man. Salute to him. You know what I mean? And this is a a pleasure here. You're getting all this game on here. I mean, you got about 70 Tay. 60, 70, bud, 40, 50 with Dre, man. And, you know, I'm just a small squirt in the dirt, man, coming up in the rear, man. But you got two, three hundred years of game, man. Dr. Swartz called that them uh, schools and, and essays ain't the only one to give you an essay, man. That's so right. take some lessons from this game, man, and sub to these players, these P's channel, man. And it's not just being a P, but it's about being a man. Yeah. It's about being out front, and a man is real, and a P is the ultimate form of a man. You understand me? Because he's the truth, and he ain't a lie. And even when he in a bad situation, like Dre say, he was behind the wall, but you ain't going to seduce and reduce me to what I'm not. Yeah, but a lot of us, Dre, didn't have them fathers, man. You can't have a, a, a pimp off no more. You can't have a Mac out. Because I remember y'all used to be like, hey, man, them suede. Hey, man, them eel skin. Them ain't gators. Right. We need gators. <laughs> You understand me? Okay. And I'm going to get this story here and I'm going to get out of here, man. We used to say to each other, and I got a pee friend of mine right now. He said, hey, man, I remember you told me I had to get a Mack wagon. I had to get a pimp car because he pulled up in an El Camino and he had about three broads in that motherfucker, man. He might have had a broad in the back. I said, hey, man, that looked like something we put our dogs in. <laughs> and after that, he went and got him a Ma Sadie Benz, man. Not the Huss right. Sadie, not the little one, not the Huss Sadie. He went and got the Ma Sadie, man, the big right. one. And he, every time we see each other, we say that, hey, man, you told me that looked like what I put my dogs in, but it was healthy competition. It yeah. wasn't like I'm gonna pull my pistol on you because you, you know, you, 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 you diss me. I can't take a L nowadays. It's not an L. Is lessons, men. So learn these lessons from these men to make you a wiser man. It's not about being a P. It's about being a man. Now, if you got some game about yourself, then you can start being a P, and that's the next level to the game, man. So I'm going to get out of here, man. Salute to the game, man, and I'm going to be a soldier boy forever. Happy belated birthday, man. Oh, right. salute, salute, Tate. One day we're gonna get together and have a champagne, man. Your on me, man. Same, same right. same birthday, same day as mine. Oh, yeah, man. Birthday, no yeah, one. man. Okay. Yeah, and I hope you I hope you remember that, Dre. When I walked yeah. up with JC, man, I just was a youngster, and you was like, Look at old oh Lex, he got them gators on, man. You <laughs> called everybody around. Man, I feel like I had made it to the king's table, man. Yeah. <laughs> salute, and you please. Did. And you did. <laughs> love you, baby. Love you. One love. One. Huck, what's up with him, love one? Dre, what's up with it, man? Always a pleasure, man. Yeah, man. Hey, bud. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey you man. Going on, man. Back to you in a minute. Right. Go ahead, man. Hey, I will be, I will be remiss if I ain't get on here, man. You know what I'm saying? And just, and just say shout out to y'all, man. I'm gonna say the elephant in the room. Y'all dealing with these? These are superstars of American pimp, man. I'm talking about you probably, you know, uh, for better or for worse, really had the biggest impact in the game period that we living through right now. A lot of cats ain't going to say it, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of them got their start and got that first spark, you know what I'm saying, from the movie American Pimp. We got some legends on here, some real superstars in our world. So I just got to say salute to y'all. I ain't going to be too long-winded. I would be remiss if I didn't say that, though, you know what I'm saying? Even I just had to get up here and shit. Appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Hey, say less. I appreciate y'all for real. Real respect. So here's my question, though. So in the game, what 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 less? What's your biggest lesson? Each one, y'all got to be long with it. Just what's your biggest lesson? Each one of y'all took from the game. Whew, my yeah, biggest, well, my biggest, my biggest lesson that I took from the game. My biggest lesson is never stop, never stop, and Big I never did to this day. I ain't stopped, and I never will. Big that. And, and so. and a, a big lesson that you should get is that this this shit is so expanding that once you get in it and you start climbing these stairs to to your success and let's say you see it's 10 steps when you get to the ninth step you're going to be able to see onto the 10th steps platform but what you're going to notice is it go back 100 yards and start a whole nother set of steps it ain't never over we keep going we keep going, period. It ain't over. You know it's right. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I think the answer to that is just I got the same as they got, you know, you just gotta keep growing. You know, I mean I'm saying, you know, life is just not okay. I I got this, 
you know. So I, I'm done. No, it's not because it never stops. Because everything that they make next year or the year after, they make it a whole lot better. So you got to keep moving. You know, you, you, know, you got to keep on moving right with it. Yeah. Amen. Thanks, Hug. Yeah. Love you, boy. Hey, y'all are superstars, man. They got Mel Gibson and uh and uh and Denzel Washington. Y'all are superstars, man. Love Salute you, to y'all, man. man. Salute to the game. Okay, yes, Gordon sir. Franks, you good? You ready, man? Can't hear you, man. Can't hear you, man. You're gonna have to tap, tap back in. You, you, it's something on your end. Everybody else could everybody else is coming on, Gordon. So uh just reboot your shit and come back. Because I, I I I like I said, I want to respect their time, man. And like a couple of more, that's it. I gotta let them go. Cause you know. Oh brother. hey. Hey. Okay. Who's it? How you doing, Mr. Dre? Hey, what's up? I'm doing well. How you doing, Mr. Rugblood? I'm fine. How you doing, Nicole? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. No complaints. Hey, Mr. Tay, just got hip to you tonight. Right. So appreciative to that. Um, I really don't have a question. Not too deep. Just for you, uh, Mr. Dre and the other uh, gentlemen. Who was your best hoe? And why was she your best hoe? That's my question. Um, who was my best woman in the game? My best, yes. my best woman in the game. Man, boy, that's hard. But probably Bria. You know, and I only say why Bria was probably the best in the game is because she became more like me. Okay. And I'm a motherfucker, like Rosebud would say. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> So that's my answer. Bria was the best because she became more like me. And I'm a mother. Okay. Yeah. I could dig that. Mr. Rosebud, would you mind? Uh, no, I don't mind. Uh, Thank to, you. To, to be honest, I think Sandy was my best hoe. Mm -hmm. She was the hoe that I turned out with. She is the one that chose me and not all the glamour. She, my name was Soul Man when I got with her. And okay. <laughs> she, she fucked with the real me. And as I grew and, you know, turned into Rosebud and, you know, I got the fast pimping and I really mistipped with her. You know how you get the speeding down the lane and ain't putting on your blinkers and shit. You just, right. I, I missed some shit that I should have caught. And I, I, I think she was the best hoe that I had. She oh, right. never tripped. That's, I can dig it. Mr. Tay? Well, I'd have to say the best uh, lady that I've had, the lady that that I have right now, Rhonda, wow. Rhonda Parker. And the reason I say that is because uh, she came through the ranks with me in the game. And then for 35 years, you know, mm. we lost contact with each other. Okay. After 35 years, you know, she found me, you know, and came back with everything and gave me everything. Wow. So I'd have to say that she's the best one that I've had. Yeah. You know, because after 35 years, you know, shit. She still came back to it. So I must have been putting it down right. <laughs> I can take that. <laughs> so let me just say this before you go. The best, mm -hmm. the best woman in general that I have is who I have now as well. But the best hoe I had was Bria. Thank you for that's that. That's why yeah. that's why I said ho, Mr. Dre. That's what I'm <laughs> we saying. Know. All right. Salute to uh, Dove as well. <laughs> that's what's up. Love, baby. All right, thank, thank you. I'm back at you. Um, um, brothers. Um, this people that's coming on, I'm not going to, you know, overdo you guys' time, man. I'm, I'm on you guys' time. You guys say that it's enough, and, and then we'll just have to go and do this again. Or 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 what do you want to do? Bring them on, man. Okay. All right. PB. PB, what's up? What's happening, family? Blessing to everybody up in here. Yeah, all right. What's up with you, man? I just want to say, uh, first of all, thank you so much for all your accomplishments that you have allowed us to uh, uh, be aware of and be able to uh, appreciate. Thank you. Thank you, Tay, and thank you, Rosebud. I just want to say. From the right bottom, up, bro. Glasses up to you, man. Show you know, the question that I have is, when I first came into the watching of the documentary that, that you guys are world-renowned about, is... I was indoctrinated my whole life that black people, that a black man was the most violent creature on the face of the earth. And I just wanted to ask you, um, what is love? Because the first time I seen the American pimp, that was the first perspective of what potential 
of love that a black man can have was the relationships with the women that he was with and then the camaraderie that you're speaking of. So uh, can you just like unpack that a little bit more? Because I just think it that's so beautiful that black men, that the system tries to say that we are this scum of the earth, that we're the most hateful people, the most violent people, actually have the greatest loves, the potential to love the greatest. Hey, hey brother, that, that's a pretty, you know, deep question. And, and the thing that you really got to understand is that the love that we have comes from an extreme amount of respect for what we do. In order to be the kind of man that we try to be, you got to respect the other gentlemen in the game. You, you know, it ain't no Scarface bullshit, man. I'll shoot you if you try to come over. No, man. It's about I want to represent being a real pimp. So then not only do I got to dress and act and speak a certain way, I got to represent that in any altercation or situation I, I have. And, and, and that's why, he, even though we ain't no punks, because people think pimps is, is like weak and because they take money from women. I don't know a pimp that wasn't a kick your ass nigga before he turned out. Do you drink? Uh-uh, hell no. <laughs> um, tell you either, right? No, I sure don't. We all done something. <laughs> we, we was all niggas that's just as crazy or violent as you was talking about, but we controlled it because of the respect we had of the game. Respect Thank is a monster, bro. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, right. That's it. I'm going to be up out of here. I just want to say thank you, uh, Rosebud. Thank you, Tay. Thank you, Dre, for allowing me on here. Blessed be. Continue the good work, family. Appreciate Dre, you, man. Dre's the moderator, but I, I can't yeah, choose yeah. nobody to come up. So. Yeah, I, I think he's he, we, we, we going to make uh, he's the last one anyway. So, yeah, he's the last one. So, uh, Dre should be back in a minute. I'm going to leave y'all. Bless you. All right, man. All right, brother. Appreciate be good. All right. <laughs> hey, 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 bud. Yeah. I had to say uh, uh, that uh, she was the best because she, she came back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who, brother? Right? Yeah, she came back. You know? Well, so. nigga, I, I can verify she, uh, I don't give a fuck she came back, but she came back and broke herself like a real one. Yeah. <laughs> no questions. Right. Hey, take and one and one none of that little bullshit money either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Shit. And man, uh, uh, there's a lot of people, you know, that's on there, man. I sure appreciate y'all tuning in. You know, we don't get to do this too often, so uh, I'm glad that y'all tuned in. <laughs> you know, to the show. Let me say, PP. Yeah. I have to go <laughs> Sorry, guys. So that love part, PB, I know he left, but I'm going to drop it on you, man. Listen, kill, um, one of my favorite writers, Alexander Dumas, said something that I, that I think about to this day. He says, only he who has experienced ultimate despair is capable of feeling ultimate bliss, right? So when you see that type of love, right, it's because the amount of suffering that we've experienced, right, it, the, de the depthness of that suffering right exhibits the depthness of the ultimate bliss that's why a person that was born with wealth they'll never be able to experience the joy of success to the level that a person that come out these gutters that will be able to enjoy that's what he meant by that only he who has experienced ultimate despair is capable of experiencing ultimate bliss so we as a people are in a great place to experience a level of bliss that the average person in this country, white person that may have have benefited from from the backs of our people and, and are in position will never be able to experience. That's why you see us when we come up, we the way we do it, the swag we have. Right. We have a different kind of swag from other people that that enjoy some type of success when a black man gets in that area of success. The swag that he has is unlike anybody else's. That's because it's related to that despair that we've all had so i hope that helps you all right 
All right, Dre. Hey, Been man. A pleasure, man. Been hey, a pleasure, Dre. I love you guys, man. I appreciate we're going to have to do this, man, because they're asking for it. So we're going to have to do this more than often, man. And thank you for embracing uh, all of us with you guys' knowledge and your information. Much love and respect to you great legends. I appreciate you, and I love you, man. Thank you. Right, hey, brother. I, I, I love you, man. You be cool. And anytime, I'm down. Absolutely. One, you guys. You guys got your blessing. 